The Lonesome Hunters, it's about an old man in hiding who has a magic sword that he should not have. He's in hiding because of this sword. And then when a young lady in his neighborhood runs into some trouble, he decides to use the sword to help her out. And it is the start of big trouble for everyone. This sword is ancient. It is mysterious and its origins will be explained in the course of the story. The real sword doesn't have quite as much dog hair on it though. This will be my first published series that's just me writing. And I'm doing just about everything on the book. I'm you know, writing it, I'm drawing it, painting it, uh, lettering it. My coloring is different than a how a lot of people color because I don't use the computer. I do you know, mostly watercolor and gouache and a little bit of acrylic ink and stuff like that. Oh, you know, I use my airbrush a lot. When I pull it out, it wakes up that like 12 year old in me who was like, this is what a professional artist to use. And I pull that thing out and I'm like, I'm a professional now. Shh, 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 shh. I just have this little camera guy set up here and I just put a GoPro on the end and point it at my uh, desk and, and go bonkers on my, on my art, whatever I'm gonna do. I put them on my YouTube channel. It's a fun thing to share on the internet and people find it interesting. But it's also very interesting to watch them back and be like, what did I just do there? Because half the time you're just sort of painting and you're going along and you're doing your thing and you're not always making very conscious, deliberate decisions. And then it's very interesting to look back and see what I did and, and sort of decode why I did it. It's one of those things when you sort of spend about half your time sort of like screaming into a pillow and the other half being like, I'm a genius! And just alternating between the two every five minutes. I started working on the story about 10 years ago. The two main characters are Howard and Lupe. Howard is a failed monster hunter. He's been in hiding, and we'll find out sort of why that happened. And then Lupe is just a young young woman who lives in his neighborhood. She's basically an orphan. She's lost most of her family, and she's living with her uncle, and it's not the best situation for her. And both of them are sort of at a time in their life where they're looking for a way out of the situation that they're in. And so when they find each other, they team up for better or worse and try to help each other get out of their wherever they're stuck. I think people who like Preacher might like this. <laughs> I've been telling people that it's Lone Wolf and Cub meets Preacher, but it's a little bit sweeter than, than that. Like it, both of those are sort of like, have a definite edgelord nihilistic bent that I don't really take with the Lonesome Hunters. Like, I really hope for The Lonesome Hunters that it comes across as like an emotional story about characters trying to find some way of, of living in peace with their past and their future.